Hello, so today we are going to discuss whether running causes osteoarthritis of the knees and the hips or not. It is a common concern among runners who are already running or those who want to start running. The concern is ki whether running will increase the risk of getting knee pain, hip pain and whether the osteoarthritis or the arthritis of the knee will increase or not. So fortunately we have multiple research studies on this topic. So today I am going to present to you the research based evidence regarding the running and the risk of getting knee pain. So one of the most comprehensive reviews they looked at basically the runners and the non-runners and also they looked at in the runners they divided into two categories. One was the competitive runners who for whom running is like a passion and they take part in many national international events and so possibly they have a much higher running mileage that is the distance they run uh, every week. So that is uh, competitive runners. Recreational runners are the ones who run for the health and they are not competitive runners. So they, their running mileage is likely to be lesser and controls who don't run. So what they found that you know the, among the competitive runners the risk of osteoarthritis was highest. It was 13.3 percent and the lowest you'll be surprised it was not in the controls means people who did not run it, it was not the lowest. It was lowest in the recreational runners. If you have to look at the percentage recreational runners 3.5 percent controls 10.2 percent and the competitive runners 13.3 percent. So basically those who are runners recreational runners they had almost three times lower risk of getting arthritis of the knees and the hips as compared to those who were not running and of course those who were competitive or the elite runners they had 3 percent higher risk than the controls also. So that group had the highest. There is one more study that has uh, looked at the distance and running mileage so that they looked at one group was those who ran more than 21 kilometers but less than 42 kilometers. So running up to 42 kilometers uh, they did not find any kind of increase in the risk of osteoarthritis. So basically those who are running let's say five days in a week that comes to almost 8 to 8.5 kilometers uh, per day. So if somebody runs 8 kilometers per day for 5 days in a week there is no increased risk of osteoarthritis of the knees. And the same study what they found is though who ran uh, for more than 92 kilometers per week which means like almost 15 kilometers per day with one day rest. So you know those runners had a increased risk of hip osteoarthritis. So running mileage definitely plays a role and uh, so if you are able to keep the running mileage to say 40 or 50 kilometers at the most in a week the risk is not higher whereas the more mileage will definitely increase the risk of getting knee and the hip pains and the arthritis. There is one more study looking at the duration. So somebody you know who keeps on running for several years so and then versus those who don't run for so many number of years. So one study found that the risk of arthritis was more in people who ran for say 19 years plus as compared to those who ran for 11 years and to put into perspective they looked at two groups less than 15 years of running and more than 15 years of running and as expected those who ran for 15 years plus had a risk of 17 percent of getting arthritis whereas those who ran for lesser than 15 years it is 3 percent. So possibly you know the running mileage as well as the running duration in terms of years uh, both of them matter. And then uh, if you look at uh, you know the caution it is not only the running which is a risk factor or you know not running is, is a risk factor for arthritis. The two main risk factors whenever I speak to my senior orthopedic surgeons who routinely see knee pain and arthritis. So they always report to me that uh, it is the obesity or the overweight which is the number one risk factor for causing arthritis of the knees and the hips and the second is the sedentary lifestyle. So one has to look at you know uh, if if a runner is obese or overweight the obesity and overweight itself will increase the risk of arthritis. So then uh, we should not blame the running in such a person and uh, similarly if a person you know runs for say 30-40 minutes but he sits for 12 to 13 hours in a day for his work. So again the whatever benefit the running may cause will get offset by the prolonged sitting. So one has to balance these two factors. So it is running is definitely helpful for reducing the risk of knee and the hip arthritis. At the same time if somebody is overweight or obese they should bring their body mass index or the waist circumference to normal levels 
and uh, they should be avoid they should avoid sitting for long duration they should not be sedentary so anyone who has to sit for more than 6 hours you know they should try and sit for as lesser duration as possible take breaks every 30 to 40 minutes for a few minutes and uh, things like that so that also will reduce the risk of getting arthritis now and there is one more uh, study looking at the distance of running and the uh, risk of arthritis and they classified people into three groups or you can say four groups so non runners were the ones who ran less than 8 kilometers every week and then 8 to 32 kilometers 32 to 48 kilometers and more than 48 kilometers the risk of uh, arthritis in all the four groups that is above 48 was as similar to those who ran for less than 8 kilometers and then there have been few studies looking at the x-ray changes in the knee joint also and uh, they have found that you know walking as well as running they do not cause any uh, changes in the knee cartilage uh, that study has been done with MRI also in the immediate post running say if you do the scanning in the first few hours you may find some changes but after three days those changes are not persistent so there is no long lasting changes in the cartilage of the knee uh, due to running and uh, one more question we routinely hear is, is from the patients who already have mild osteoarthritis of the knee joints so while you know those who have severe knee pain or severe arthritis obviously they cannot run but those who have mild to moderate knee pain and arthritis for them few studies have been done and what was found is that with mild osteoarthritis actually it is beneficial so those who run and, and have osteoarthritis of the knees the knee pain over a period of time reduces and also the progression of the arthritis as seen on the x-ray that also will reduce so it is clear that people who have osteoarthritis which is in the mild or the moderate stage they will also benefit from running then another question we hear is how about middle aged people because in younger people the knees are healthier and joints are healthier so they may be safe and uh, you know for the risk of arthritis how about middle aged people so there is one uh, you know a few studies have been done in people who are above 50 uh, there is one study and also one study done at people who are above 55 years and uh, so in definitely in 50 years plus they looked at the knee pain also reduced and there is no worsening of arthritis on the x-ray this is a peop this is for the people who had arthritis one more study looked at healthy people so healthy people means those who are non obese body mass index is less than 25 and age above 55 and they have no uh, prior arthritis of the knees so for them also there is no increased risk of osteoarthritis versus uh, non runners so so running is safe for people who are above 50 or above 55 also and even those with mild osteoarthritis of the knees also it is safe and uh, there is one more study they looked at you know uh, whether running will reduce the risk of arthritis and also the risk of hip replacement and uh, it was uh, found that yes those who run the risk of requiring hip replacement or knee replacement later on is lesser and partly this happens because of reducing body mass index so i mentioned that uh, overweight and obesity is one of the major risk factors for arthritis so running will result in weight loss also and lesser bmi and that would further reduce the risk of getting arthritis and uh, one more benefit of running on the bone is that bone density because we know that as one ages the bone mineral density becomes less and they can have osteopenia or osteoporosis so there have been few studies looking at the bone mineral density and what has been found is that after about two years or gradually runners have greater bone mineral density than the non-runners but one more thing we should remember is that if somebody had been running and now they stop running or reduce the mileage then the bone density can decrease also so running is good for the bone density but you should continue the you know same distance of running and you should not stop running otherwise the bone density can start falling and uh, then uh, another uh, study has been done which is differently like looking at the impact of different types of sports on the risk of arthritis and a few uh, sp you know sports they have a higher risk of causing knee pain or arthritis in that the highest is the weight lifting so of course as you can imagine you know weight lifters uh, they when they lift the heavy weights the impact of that heavy weight falls on the various joints and including the knee joints and they have seven times higher risk of getting knee arthritis as compared to people who don't lift heavy weights and uh, then other two groups who have a very high risk of arthritis one is wrestlers wrestlers generally they may be a little bulkier and uh, heavier than uh, you know non wrestlers so that could be one reason 
and also the risk of injuries may be higher in them. So wrestling increases the risk of arthritis by about four times compared to non-wrestlers. And then another one is soccer. So soccer also, they you know, they have a high risk of getting knee injuries. And maybe because of that, they have a almost three and a half times high risk of getting arthritis. And then those who are elite runners, I already mentioned those who log long distances every week, say, you know, more than 50 kilometers or there is one study definitely showing more than 90 kilometers. So that such elite runners or competitive runners also have a high risk of getting arthritis. So just to summarize, number one, running is absolutely safe for the knee joints and the hip joints. It does not increase the risk of getting knee pain or the hip pain or arthritis. And, uh, and then second thing is that you have to keep the running mileage to as low as comfortable. So running say below 50 kilometers per week is safe. If you are going above that, definitely we should be cautious. Somebody with who's having overweight or obesity, they should also cut down the weight. Otherwise the weight itself will increase the risk of osteoarthritis. Those who have mild or moderate knee pain or osteoarthritis, they can run. But those with severe arthritis, they should first get treated. And uh, if you have any knee pain or any injuries, it is better to take rest and recover. It takes about six to eight weeks for recovery and then you can resume running because running with uh, knee pain, ongoing knee pain can make it worse. And also focus and give some time for uh, muscle strengthening that is important. So quadriceps, hamstrings, muscles, if they are stronger, the risk of knee pain and arthritis is lesser. So you should have two to three days of a strength training every week to make the muscles stronger. And then definitely if somebody has vitamin D deficiency or calcium deficiency, those supplements should be taken. And uh, and I think if one, uh, and also we cannot uh, underemphasize the importance of proper shoes. So whenever you change your, sh first have good pair of shoes, change them every 800 to 1000 kilometers of running. And once you buy a new pair of shoes, give yourself some time, few days time to get used to the shoes before you increase the mileage. So first, you know, with every new pair of shoes run for a few kilometers or lesser than your usual distance and then after four to five days you, when you are comfortable and you know get used to the new shoes then you can increase the mileage so these are some of the important things running between running on roads versus you know mud or gravel uh, there is not much data but of course i think most of the runners run on roads and i think should be safe again running on the roads versus treadmill which is safer again difficult to quantify because there are no head-to-head -head trials but you know wherever you want to run run whenever you want to run morning or evenings take up running so i think uh, all the runners who have been running keep running without the fear of getting knee pain or the hip pain or arthritis and those who are new to running or those who want to start running please start and don't bother about the knee because it will definitely help your knee so i hope this was helpful for all of you and if you liked it, please like, post your comments and queries and share this video for greater reach and subscribe to this channel for uh, having more similar educative videos in the future. Thank you.